Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study powers of 10 and a little bit about other powers too and exponents. And this has to do with repeated multiplication. For example, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, the multiplication is repeated, right? And we have a shorthand notation for this. It is quicker to write this way. 3 to the 4th power. Okay, this means 3 multiplied by itself 4 times. And of course I could solve it how much it is because 3 times 3 is 9 is another 9. 9 times 9 is 81. Now this little elevated number here is called the exponent. Okay, and then this 3 is the base number. The whole thing is called 3 to the 4th power. It is a power of 3. Let's try this one. It is also repeated multiplication. So we can write it with less space. 2 is the base number and then the exponent. 2 is repeated here 5 times. 2 to the 5th power. Okay? If I want to solve how much it is as a plain number, then I have to multiply. There's 2 times 2 is 4. Another 4 is 16 times 2, 32. How about 10 to the 4th power? It would mean 10 multiplied by itself four times. You remember there's a shortcut for these. Whenever you multiply by 10, it means you tag a zero after the number. There would be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Or you can think of it as 100 times 100. Either way, you would get 1 followed by four zeros. So that is 10,000. 1 to the seventh power. It would be 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, times 1, times 1, times 1. But we will never get anywhere, right? We will just get 1. Now, 6 to the second power, we usually call this something else. We don't usually call it 6 to the second power. We call it 6 squared. 6 squared because this is the area of a square with sides 6. Okay? If you have a square, 6 and 6 then its area is 6 times 6, 6 squared. And so that is 6 times 6, 36. How about 100 squared? 100 times 100, oh, we just had it. It's the same 10,000. 100 times 100. Now this one also has a special name, 10 to the third power or 10 cubed. Okay, 10 cubed. It comes from the fact that if we calculate the volume of a cube, we need to multiply its side by itself three times. Multiply the length and the width and the height. So this is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1000. 3 cubed. 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Now, for the rest of the lesson, we're going to concentrate on powers of 10. I have here a whole list of powers of 10. And there's going to be a neat shortcut for writing these. 10 squared would mean 10 times 10. It's 100. 10 cubed, we just calculated that. That was 1000. 10 to the fourth power, we actually calculated that too. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And every time we multiply by 10, we have to tag a zero to the end of the number, right? So you can see the shortcut, right? 10 to the fifth power will be, I have one followed by five zeros. So it's 100,000. 10 to the seventh power, one followed by seven zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put commas here. It is 10 million. 10 to the ninth power. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And commas. And what do we get? 1 billion. Oh, what's that, Matthew? Oh, he's reminding me of one more power of 10. Oh, yeah, we need to know about this. You know about Google, right? Do you? Google, spelled that way, is... 
10 to the hundredth power, which is one followed by hundred zeros. But I'm not going to write it here. <laughs> it would take a long time. Now let's try these. Can you solve these? 10 squared times 10 to the fourth power. You see, I could write this out as this is 100 and this is 10,000. But there's going to be another kind of shortcut. If you imagine there's 10 multiplied by itself here, two times. 10 multiplied by itself four times. So in total we get 10 multiplied by itself six times, don't we? So this would be 10 to the sixth. One million. How about that one? Of course, that's easy now that I told you the shortcut. 10 multiplied by itself six times. 10 multiplied by itself three times. So that would be 10 multiplied by itself nine times. 10 to the ninth power. Again, one billion. Now I want to remind you of an old shortcut that you already have studied. It has to do with numbers that have lots of zeros in the end. 2,000 times 70. The shortcut? You multiply 2 times 7, right? To get 14. And then you gather your zeros. There's 3 and 1 more. So 4 zeros here. 140,000. Let's try one more. 40 times 400 times 3,000. Okay, you multiply 4 times 4 times 3. Or maybe you multiply 3 times 4, which is 12, times 4, 48. Yep. Then 1, 2, 3, and 3. Six zeros. 48 million. How about this one? 5 times 10 to the 6th power. 10 to the 6th power is 1 followed by 6 zeros. This number here is 1 million. So obviously we get here 5 million then, right? 5 followed by 6 zeros. One more. Surely you can solve this one too, right? 41 times 10 to the 4th power times 10 to the 3rd power. How many zeros do we need? Okay, multiplying by 10 to the 4th power, we need to tag 4 zeros. And then multiplying by 1,000, we need to tag 3 zeros. So all I do is take my 41 and write all these zeros, 4 and 3, 7 zeros. Okay, so what do we get? 410 million. Now this next problem we already solved. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about the shortcut, why it works, you know? 2,000, this is the same as 2 times 1,000. Or 2 times 10 cubed. And 70 is the same as 7 times 10. And the shortcut was, we multiplied 2 times 7, you remember? And then you were tagging these zeros. So now you can see, in this multiplication, I can multiply the numbers in any order I wish. So I choose to multiply 2 times 7 first to get 14, okay? And then I have 10 to the third power times 10. And then multiplying by 10, you tag a zero in the end of the number. That has to do with our place value system that is based on 10, okay? For example, 4, 4 times 10 gives you 40. And every time you multiply by 10, the same happens. So here we have 10, 10, 10, 10, four tens, and that is why we get 14 and all those zeros. Lastly, one place where these big numbers are used real often and powers of 10 is in astronomy, because they have so big numbers there. Here I have one light year. Light year is the distance that light travels in a year, okay? And it's a really long distance, 5.9 million million miles. Let's try to write this number, or I will do it, even if it was difficult for you. 
Million, million, okay. Million would mean, I would tag six zeros to the number, another million, another six zeros. So this million, million actually is a trillion. It is 10 to the 12th power. It means 12 zeros, okay? This here is almost six. So we could say it is six trillion, okay? Six followed by 12 zeros. But it is 5.9, so I will write it like this. Five, and then nine more zeros. Okay, here we have the ones, thousands, millions, billions, and trillions periods. So you can see why astronomers don't want to bother writing such long numbers, okay? They want to use powers of 10. This is the same as 5.9 times 10 to the 12th power. And here's then another big number. Proxima Centauri is a star that is closest to us. And it is 4.3 light years away. Okay? 4.3 is not a big number. It's easy to write in text, you know. And, but if we start calculating, I would take 4.3 times that number there, or 4.3 times this number here that I wrote out, and I, I will get another really, really big number with tons of zeros, okay? And this one is, how would we read it? There's ones, thousands, millions, billions, and trillions, period. It's 25 trillion, 370 billion miles. But it is much shorter to write it as 4.3 light years. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.